intuitive online offline view can be a huge time saver for any engineer because you can visually see the differences in your hardware and software components. That way you can quickly and efficiently solve your problems and saving you valuable engineering time. Let me show you an example of this. The first step is we come over to our project view. Let's click on the main CPU and click go online. The way you'll know that is you get the orange bars across the top and immediately you'll notice that all the hardware components have the green check mark so everything's fine. However, in our tree structure, you'll see in the soft components we have some differences and the way you know that is you have a blue-orange bubble. Well, let's give focus the main CPU, right click and choose compare, online, offline. Now he's going to pull up all the software side by side. Let's double click on the top orange bar so we have a complete focus and now you can see everything in the software components. We have a filter button here. If we check on that, we'll only see the differences in that one function block. And now if I double click on that block itself, he'll pull up the actual code within the blocks themselves. As you can see, it is SCL code. Now I can use these icons to find the differences. If I use the very first one, it's going to find the first differences in the online offline view. Here it is. And I happen to have a multiplication of a 1.25. I know that's not correct because the offline is the actual master. What I want to do is actually close this out, give focus right here, and choose download to device, click OK, and come up here and hit this execute actions. Now he's going to compile the fact I want to make this change. Now you see I have a consistency download, so he's only going to load the actual delta difference. That is fine. Click on load. Now he's going to start loading to our CPU. And at this point, you now see we have a green bubble between the actual online and offline of all the software components. I was able to do all this in just a matter of seconds. Now that's engineering efficiency.